Hi, we're back with George Torres from AT Gay. And George is kind enough to talk to us a little bit about their Vivisat project. Yes. Uh, right behind us, here, you see a graphic of it, but the summary of this is it's a multi-use satellite, but one of the biggest uses of it would be to, to take an existing satellite in space and act as a tugboat that would uh, extend its life. Because what, what's unknown to a lot of folks is a satellite may last 12 or 15 years, but the reason it dies is because it runs out of gas. It so runs out of fuel. George, how many dead satellites are up there right now? Oh, there, there, there's, uh, well, it depends what orbit you're talking about, but what we're, we're speaking about here is the geosynchronous orbit, which is where, like, television broadcast satellites are, and, and there's hundreds up there, okay? So what, what typically happens when they run out of fuel, they need to get out of the orbit where everyone else is and go into a dead orbit. What this will allow is taking that very valuable asset and, and hook up to it, and, and it becomes the pointer for the satellite. Because that's the key. When you run out of fuel, you can't accurately point at the Earth. And if you can't do that, you can't communicate. So this will add two or three or four years of life to a very valuable asset that, in that's, space. Uh, that's very exciting from both a business and uh, environmental perspective. Can you, can you tell us now, do you do this strictly for your own products, or do you do this for other firms? No, it, it's really for other firms. This is a service that we're coming up with. And, and that's just one thing, the, the, the fuel. It can service satellites. It can move it to another orbit. It can, um, there's multiple uses of it. But that's the most obvious one and the first one. So we've been speaking to a lot of different customers that own, um, let's just say, dozens of satellites in space. And as they manage their fleets, and let's say they're having a, a problem with one, or there's a, a late one that can't get launched. It's a way to extend the life as a gap filler. And, and, and a satellite, very often, a broadcast satellite may be earning $100 million a year. So to add that kind of money, you know, two, three, four years is not trivial. So, George, thank you yeah. so much. It's a very exciting yeah. project you have. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for coming.